and welcome once again to another episode of Engineer to Engineer. Today on Engineer to Engineer, our Motion Systems Application Engineer, Chuck Leonard, will be continuing his demonstration on how to wire and connect the I.O. ports on our RS series actuators. If you would like to see part one, click the video here now to view it. Chuck walks you through how to connect the RS wiring to a terminal block unit that contains both your input and output terminals. In this episode, Chuck will demonstrate wiring to separate input and output terminal blocks. Let's rejoin Chuck. Now, so this is everything all done in one unit. Now we get a couple of customers that said, well, we'd like to keep our inputs and outputs separate. Well, basically we're gonna do the same thing here, but we're gonna use the 20 pin conductors. So we'll unwrap this wire. We'll make it about the same length. So we'll come out here. Again, I'm cutting it where the wire is fused together so that when I put it in the insulation displacement connector, I've got, I don't have to deal with individual wires that are uh, loose. So we'll place this, take a pair of scissors, find out where it's split out, cut it right after that. we end up with some more wire for our scrap pile. Now I've got this. Again, we look at pin number one, it's marked with a little white arrow on this. Now I've taken the time to actually mark these out so that I get pin number one uh, marked on my connector. It's a little easier to see. And then as we slip these into the connector, open it up a little bit. Get it so it's flush in there. A little squeeze. Get our crimping connector out here with our ductile pliers. I give it a squeeze. That's our input side. We're going to do the same thing here on our output. The brown is pin number one, so we want to line that up with pin number one on our connector. Slide this in here. Get it in place, give it a little crimp. Crimp it down. Take and fold the wire over, do our strain release. And these just slide in the, into the little guides on it and you just clip it in, it locks in place. Slide this over. Put our strain reliefs on there. And now we've got, you can set these up as your input and output. So then these are now separated. Open up a little blocking connectors. These drop in. They'll only go in one way because of the tab. You drop these right in. Lock these in place. And now you've got two different ways if you want to have your I.O. port lined up where everything's all together in one place or if you need to separate them, you can separate it with one input, one output. It makes it very simple for you to make your termination and wiring to the robot. You may not use all of the termination ports uh, for the robot. You really only need to actually access about uh, five or six of them. But by doing this, you've terminated this and you don't have to deal with lots of little pieces of loose wire, uh, ferrules, you don't have uh, open exposed wires that can short out against panels or other components. You don't have to deal with trying to figure out what to do with all this whole mess of wire. Well, that does it for our two-part series on wiring I.O. ports on Masumi RS actuators. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all of our brand new content. Also, be sure to check out our social media and our blog. You can find the links to those in the description below. If you have a video of your build using Masumi parts, leave a link in the comments below and we'll feature it in a playlist on our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.